I'm so excited I'm here with my friend Javier. Javier, welcome to LinkedIn Live. How are you today? I'm doing great, Marguerite. Super excited. It's a wonderful day and very, very happy to be here with you. So friends, I'm so excited Javier is here. He is the president of LAIA, which is the Latin American Association of Insurance Agencies. And I am so excited you are here. So first, we're gonna jump in in a minute to talk about the convention. How is the weather? Are you part of the heat wave? Is it okay where you're at? Tell us, what are you experiencing with the weather? Let's just say I will not be wearing this coat when I leave my office today. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful weather. It's hot. We, you know, maybe should rethink this for next year and do this beachside, uh, Marguerite, in, in shorts and sandals. It's a, uh, it's, it's beautiful weather over here. Loving it. Especially leading into the 4th of July weekend, we definitely should be beachside, poolside. So I'm friends, as many of you know, I'm in the Chicagoland area. So we have the Canadian fires. Like, so we have this crazy haze. We've had like, it's been horrible the past week, but hopefully it's going to get better. And I know all of our Texas friends, like the weather's so much worse there. So it sounds like you and I though are at least in good shape. Okay, so friends, I'm so excited that you're joining us or watching the playback. Javier and I are going to talk about this is so exciting. I cannot even stand it. It is the Shaping the Future LAIA, L-A-A-I-A, 53rd Annual Convention, and it is just in a few weeks. It's July 12th through the 15th. Javier, tell everyone, where are you going to hold this amazing convention and about how many people do you think are going to attend? Well, uh, like you said, it's our 53rd annual convention. We're extremely proud of that. It's going to be held in a beautiful uh, resort in Hollywood, Florida, The Diplomat, wow. right on the beach. Um, again, thinking about this, what we're doing right now, maybe we'll do it, uh, you know, there. We should be c considering that you know, on site. And, uh, and it's going to be held from the uh, 12th through the 15th uh, of July. Uh, so it's really, it's right around the corner. Uh, and we're all so excited uh, to see uh, some of our old friends and some of our new friends. Uh, so we're, we're, we're super excited to, for it to get started. So, and that's a beautiful property and it has such great energy, such a wonderful vibe. I know everyone's going to love it. And I think there'll be like almost 1,500, around 1,500 passionate insurance leaders there. So do people come from, where are they coming from? Are they coming from the Northeast, from across the country, from Florida? Where are all these people traveling from? Great question. Um, we have a lot of folks uh, that, that travel from everywhere in the country. In fact, we have every, you know, we do have a sprinkle here and there that, of international guests. Oh, uh, and we're expect, and we're expecting some uh, more this year. Uh, as you know, we're, we're still in that post pandemic uh, period. And I think everyone sort of feels like uh, things are almost, you know, back to normal. Uh, of course, you know, it's being held in Florida where, you know, the pandemic was sometimes uh, thought of as a rumor, uh, but, uh, but in terms of, of what we're expecting, you're right. It's, it, you know, last year we had just over 1,500 registrants for the convention. Quite frankly, we're expecting a, a, an even greater turnout this year. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback from, from agents, uh, from company partners, from vendors that are just so excited to come. And not only the companies, uh, you know, their families. You know, I can tell you, you know, my family has been coming for years to these events. Uh, so that they can sit and enjoy the lovely resort, the lovely hotel, and all its amenities uh, right. while while Daddy works, right? So, uh, so yeah, uh, I, we're expecting a ton of people this year. So, what I think is fantastic too, particularly post pandemic, I think people are really trying to figure out that like work life balance, and they want to do more with their families. And a conference like this is such a great way to bring your family again to such a beautiful property. But also, I think people are also trying to help their families see like. This is what I'm doing. This is why I'm so passionate about working in the insurance industry. Look at all these amazing people I'm with. I love that aspect of this conference too. It's like bringing your worlds together. So that's fantastic. And I believe people can still register, right? You can still go to the LAIA website and it's on the homepage. It's huge yes. on the homepage. So you can go right to it and registration is still open. Is that correct, right? That is 100% correct. Very easy to access um, if you see... Uh, whether it's on you, you on LinkedIn, on me on LinkedIn, you know, we've been posting it. Uh, you can go on, on our website, just click right on the homepage. If you click on it, it'll hyperlink it to the uh, registration page. It's super easy to register. There's a lot of different options. 
Uh, we have a full registration this year, um, which is, you know, many people have, have loved because, you know, it's one click, you, you're there for the whole conference. And then some people would rather do it a la carte. So we have a pick your pick to the events that you want to go to and, and, and do it that way. But, but yeah, we've seen, you know, our registrations are, are flying through the roof and it's great. Uh, one of the things that I would say is, you know, if you have not registered yet for the convention, register because we have a lot of our um, uh, the folks who are um, uh, coming in with a booth this year on Friday, and a lot of the companies, a lot of the sponsors are asking for attendee list to oh, set up yes. meetings yes. and appointments. So, yes. so for those of you who are interested in you know, you know, companies yeah, accessing right, you, right, right, being able to tap for, in, right. The, the right. earlier you register, the better chances you have to have, you know, better networking opportunities. So register if you haven't done so. So I also have to pause on that because I looked at your exhibit trade show. It is a huge list. So insurance friends, I need to pause and really highlight, highlight, highlight. I've been to many conferences. Javier, I know you have in the past couple of years as we've come back from the pandemic. This is an amazing trade show and exhibitors and opportunity to really meet with cutting edge, the latest providers, the latest resources. And so you do want to register right away so you can get in on those meetings and get things set up. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal list of organizations. And if you still want to come and be a part of the trade show, you can sign up to do that. And then I'll also step in here. There are phenomenal sponsors. Like I love your sponsor list. So huge shout out to all the companies that are already sponsoring. And if your company is not partnering yet with LAIA, then please check it out. It is such an incredible convention. And I know you would still probably welcome sponsorships as well because it's phenomenal, phenomenal experience. So really amazing, amazing. Yeah, Marguerite, to, to piggyback on that, we literally this week have added, uh, I believe two sponsors with significant sponsorships who want to be part of what we're doing, who have seen all the great work that we've been doing and are jumping on board. And, and we're, we're just so excited. We're so ecstatic with, uh, with all the energy uh, yes. and all the folks that are, that are coming in. So yes, there are still sponsorship opportunities uh, available. Um, so please reach out um, and, and you can reach out to me directly. You can reach out to our executive director, Maribel Ramirez, um, and we'll make it happen for you. So, and I also want to tag in there and make sure we're highlighting, you and I have talked many times about as we try and bring more people into the insurance industry, and we've often talked about the demographics of the Latino community and their huge influence across our country. This, again, is a great conference convention to be a part of because it really is an opportunity to just gain incredible insights to learn more best practices, what's happening in your with your association and all of your members. And so again, going back to some of the demographics in the industry's passion for really trying to reach new audiences and be more inclusive. I just, I'm so excited about your conference. So I had to add that in there too. Okay, so Javier, what would you say are the top one or two things that you're most excited about as you look ahead to the Shaping the Future annual convention? So top one or two things you're excited about. Wow, that's it's tough to really to, to narrow it down to one or two things. But I would say uh, the thing that mo uh, many people are really, really excited about and a heavy, heavy day for us is that we are the largest uh, trade fair in South Florida, uh, you know, insurance trade mm -hmm. fair. So that's super exciting. That's Friday. I believe that's the 14th. Um, so Fridays are super magnificent day. We have over 130 uh, exhibitors uh, throughout the day where people, that's like the massive networking uh, component. Um, and then at night, we have this really, really cool event um, that, that we uh, uh, put together. It's it's off-site. It's very close to the hotel, but it's going to be really cool. A speak easy vibe. So we're, we're really excited about that. So, you know, we work really hard um, and we're, and the networking is, is, is intense. Uh, but we like to have fun too. And that's part of the, that's part of this deal. You can't, we, we are not separating business and pleasure. Mm -hmm. We are finding very, very good ways of mixing. So we're, we're, I'm super excited about both, both of those things. And, and I, I would also add that, um, this is a special year. We have a, the, the major installation of the board, which happens right. on Thursday. Um, and, uh, so there's going to be a welcome reception. So for those, Folks who want to get engaged, and I've been promoting engagement <clears throat> this whole term, 
Uh, it's a great time to meet the uh, future leaders of the organization. So if you want to be a part of it, you want to be a deeper part of it, uh, I would absolutely recommend going. Um, and Wednesday night, uh, again, I told you it's very difficult. Talent. Oh, yes, I'm excited. Are you, I'm all about talent and recruitment and retention, so you know I'm excited <laughs> about this night. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. When Wednesday, I'll tell you, it, it's our, it's where we um, have our legislative wrap up, mm -hmm. and um, and that's very, very important. We're tying in uh, components that are um, important for each of where our chapters are located okay. and nationwide. We take a, a broad stroke at that too. See some of the issues that are being, you know, from a legislative standpoint, uh, things that we're tracking uh, and advocating, uh, and then at night. Uh, you know, again, another magnificent uh, event off off site, tailored to the next generation of, of leaders. So, 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 yeah. I, I, I mean, that's this is a very, very cool thing. We're really opening it up to young people who want to get into the industry. Um, we're we're telling our company partners to bring in some of their young staff and to congregate, share ideas. And I can tell you now that I've been in the industry for um, roughly 25 years, some of the people that I met 25 years ago are now executives yes. at these yes. carriers, right? Yes. So, it's so, so exciting. We've seen that development and we've seen all of this stuff. So, you know, it's very important, this networking piece for the young people or people new to the industry to get in and, and mingle and network, share ideas. And uh, you, you'll you never know. You might be speaking to the CEO of a major company, you know, several years down the road. It's so fantastic. And so I love too. like it goes back to some of the research. I know you all have done an amazing your report that you all did a while back about the journey and then Naya has done some great reports as well, like looking at access to sponsors, networking, mentorship, those all continue to be huge conversations as well as leadership opportunities, whether it's with your current organization or external organizations. And so the things that you just highlighted, like the new officers coming in, but looking at how do you create that pipeline for multiple years? LAIA is a great opportunity for people to develop those leadership skills in that strong networking and meet people from across the country as well as around the world. And then that next gen talent, you know, I'm so passionate about that so <laughs> opportunity for them to be with executives and see firsthand. Wow. These are the pressing issues. It's so fantastic. And how we're all working together for solutions and to best serve our customers. Like so exciting. It's going to be, <laughs> it's just going to be so, so fantastic. I'm so excited for you all. Uh, Marguerite, I, I can tell you, it's it's been infectious. Uh, I am talking to, uh, you know, yesterday we had a, a board meeting. We included our, our incoming board as well. Everyone is so excited, so energized. These folks are going to keep bringing the association, association to, a, to a higher level. We've enjoyed a lot of collaboration with, with Naya. You know, we've been... Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Javier froze for a minute. Javier? Javier? Oh, there you are. It just froze for a second. Am I back? You're back. All You're right. Back. Yeah. I was just saying. We, 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 yeah. Uh, you know how internet yeah. sometimes, you know, in and out. But we are collaborate. We, we, you know, we collaborate with a lot of folks. Um, and, and, and we know that the future is that, you know, we have a lot of um, similar goals and objectives, uh, as do other organizations, right. such as NIA, APCIA. Uh, you know, we've, we've partnered with the Spencer Foundation and Gamma and with Sigma, as He's you know. Look at our Emerging Leaders Conference. <laughs> Correct. Career careers Movement. It's like so fantastic. You guys are collaborating with so many people. It's really Yeah, awesome. yeah. We love that. We love, and, you know, it's part of our culture. It's part yeah. of our DNA, you know, not only as an organization, but, right. you know, from being Latin. Latinos are family-oriented. You'll see, right. you know, spouses and children. You might even see an abuelita or abuelito at the conference, you know, grandparents. So, uh, so, so it's very in interconnected. It's, it's, a, it's a piece of, of what we do. We enjoy doing it that way. And, and we've had so much success doing it that way. So we're, we're thrilled. We're thr thrilled. Oh, so exciting. So uh, friends, insurance friends, Javier is currently the president, but he will be passing the torch at the conference, which is really exciting. And we're so excited for Juan Carlos, the incoming president. But Javier will continue to be highly involved as past president. And then he's also leading 
LAIA's expansion efforts. They recently formed a chapter in Denver and in Dallas, which is so exciting. So we're going to have you come back, Javier, and do another LinkedIn Live to talk about expansion. That will be absolutely amazing. Friends, we will put in all of our links on social, how you can register for the conference if you would like to attend. As a first-time attendee, you will love it. You are absolutely going to love it. We didn't even get to talk about the Domino's tournament. Like, there's so much. You've got to go check out the agenda. And we also didn't get to talk about the agenda. The speakers are absolutely amazing. You can also earn continuing education credits. There are so many vibrant sessions, whether it's about homeowners insurance or whether it is about cyber. There are just I could go on and on about the program. Incredible speakers, incredible trade show, and most of all, incredible networking with people that are colleagues that become friends, that are like family. It's going to be amazing. So we will link all that up. We hope you register and be sure to watch. We'll be doing lots of posts covering um, virtually as well as in person. But Javier, thank you for collaborating so closely with the Insurance Careers Movement, for your huge support of our industry and being such just a gracious, gracious, passionate champion. Anything else you would like to say to our viewers on our LinkedIn Live before we wrap up? Well, thank you, Marguerite, for the opportunity to speak to you and, and to your audience. And, uh, and I hope people really gravitate to this. It's it's very special, the work that we're doing. Uh, and I just, I'll, I'll leave with uh, something simple. You know, the, 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 the message for this year's conference is shaping the future. And and as I've been, you know, going around the country, I've, I've been seeing that if we don't take the reins and shape the future, someone else will. So please join us. Please join us at our convention and be the ones that are actually holding the reins before they get helped by someone else. Oh, that was Come join us. That was such a fantastic. What a great close. <laughs> Well, Javier, thank you for joining us. Insurance friends, thank you for joining us either live or watching the playback. Again, we'll link all the information in our social posts. We wish you an amazing, amazing 53rd annual convention. It's absolutely fantastic. And we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, Javier. I'm going to end now. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks. And have a great 4th of July. Goodbye. Bye-bye.